Good afternoon, this is Rob at Next Truck Sales. I want to introduce you to our 1998 International 9300 Series tractor. I'm going to do this video in probably two or three parts. There's a lot of bits and pieces to show. The hood is quite tricky to lift up, so I'll probably do a video of the outside of the truck, possibly with the inside, and then I'll get the hood up and take you around under the hood. It's got a Cummins N14. Uh, it's a 1998 EPA engine, so it's electronic fuel injection. It does not have an EGR. It does not have DPF, DEF, or any emission controls whatsoever. Uh, it's a 500 horse. It was rebuilt approximately 370,000 kilometers ago. The transmission has been rebuilt. The differentials have been rebuilt. It's got a lot of new parts. And if you read the description in the advertisement, you'll see a summary of everything that's been done and the time frames in which everything was done. All of it's been done within the last, I'm going to say one, two, three years. Uh, a lot of new parts on this truck. This truck, because it's pre-2000, it is an e-log exempt truck, meaning that you do not need to run an electronic log book. You can run strictly on a paper log. It has a 242 inch wheelbase, an 18 speed manual. some pieces done there's a camera system there's also an upgraded uh, audio video system in the truck I'll take you through here it's got uh, virgin bf goodrich drive tires these are i believe these are 24.5 so 11r 24.5 is your size uh, i'm going to say they're about 80 percent tread maybe 90 okay you'll see here the catwalk is stainless steel got a Webasto bunk heater it does have a wet uh, PTO kit on it um, with a wet kit and you'll see um, your airlines are hooked up here uh, but there is a PTO kit I'll crawl underneath later and, and show that over to you uh, take a look at the back LED lights stainless steel hangers Take a look over top here you'll see it has a locking diff at the back a big long sliding fifth wheel here this is a three foot slider all aluminum wheels looks like we've got freightliner aluminum wheels on the inside here or at least one of them is a freightliner that looks like a freightliner yeah so freightliner wheels on the inside and standard 10 hole on the outside a lot of new parts new maxis new slack adjusters i'll take you through the invoices uh, if you look at the uh, website and the advertisement you'll see all of those repair invoices that were done polished aluminum tanks you can see not new but certainly in decent shape there is some corrosion going on on the bunk again this is a 22 year old truck built in 1997 so there is going to be some corrosion and it is a Canadian truck so you know it's seen whatever 20 winters you'll see here this is a, a decal it will come off but I suspect you'll have a hard time getting it off because I can imagine that the vinyl is going to crack as you try to do that on the paint here this is typical of a 1998 truck without any emission controls and straight pipes the straight pipes are going to shoot out uh, black soot so the previous owner was putting uh, pails on top of the tailpipe so that the rain wouldn't go in there because when you fire it up the water mixed with the soot is going to spew black soot and this all this all comes off but if you don't do that you're definitely going to need to do uh, to wash your truck more often than you need to uh, there's another camera system here and if you look you'll see there's an in-dash camera there and an in-dash camera here and they all tie into a single uh, unit on the inside of the truck uh, you will see there is some damage here it's not terrible but it is some cracking which is typical typical of a long hood 
laid out a fiberglass. Uh, the rest of the hood's in decent shape. You'll see here though there is, again, some spider cracking going on. LED lights have been added. We've got LED lights in the bumper, turn signals. Nothing going on. Well, a little bit of spider cracking in there as well, but nothing, nothing I'll say structural. And that'll be the tour of the outside of this truck. I'll take you on the inside of the truck in the next video. Thanks.